Hi everybody and Happy New Year. Welcome to today's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Petrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and CEO Founder of Mindful Living Incorporated. And I'm just so happy to be with you here at the start of the new year, starting fresh, recreating ourselves, which for me is an ongoing conversation for those of you who follow me, you know that. Um, but today we're going to talk about awakening acceptance. Uh, acceptance is really important. It's an important aspect of really embracing where you've been, embracing your past, and using your past as a reference in order for you to be in the present and really strategize and decide how you want to move forward to create your future. So I figured that it would be a great message for us to shoot off the beginning of the year with. So with that said, let's jump into our three powerful tips for awakening acceptance. So our first powerful tip for today is that it all starts with self-acceptance. Let go of judgment of yourself and of others. Take a moment to examine the perspective and the context of each situation that you find yourself in before deciding how to respond. See, a lot of times we are in a situation where our past issues, if you will, are trigger triggered and then we respond according to what happened to us in the past instead of the current situation. So starting with your own self-acceptance and really knowing what some of your issues, challenges, uh, habits are that have been created by past experiences and then having a really clear vision of who it is you want to become or what it is that you want to create so that you can make decisions based on the now, based on the current relationship, based on the current situation. Um, is just so very, very important because we're shaping who we are, we're shaping who we're becoming, we're shaping our futures with every single decision. So start with yourself first. If you can't love and accept yourself, how can you expect anyone else to love and, and accept you? Powerful tip number two today is to move at the speed of inspiration. See, fear is a signpost for the direction of growth. So accept where you are and dare to move forward. See, if it makes you slightly to moderately to extremely uncomfortable, it's a pretty good chance that it's an opportunity for you to grow within that experience. So I say jump in. I know for myself, anytime that I have like a little tinge about a person when it comes to relationship, or a certain business opportunity where I'm like, ooh, right? That's how I know that it's time to move into that next level of growth. And you know, it's really important as far as personal development, if you stay where you are, it's comfortable. Anytime you move outside your comfort zone, yeah, it's not gonna feel very good. You might have a little bit of a fear associated with it, but what happens when you move through that fear, when you step into the unknown, is that you open up a whole new world of opportunities as to how you can experience your life. And I know for most of us, for most of you who follow my blog, you want more. You're in a position where you're feeling possibly unfulfilled unfulfilled or not as happily, happy as you would like or not as abundant as, as you would like. And what I'm here to tell you is that in order for you to actually obtain that abundance, that happiness, that fulfillment, you need to put yourself in a position where you're mildly to moderately to extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> and our last and final tip today for awakening acceptance is don't put a cap on your potential. Once you accept who you are, now the constant reinvention can begin. See, no one's saying that you have to find out who you are and stay that way. Life is about growth. It's a journey. It's becoming a better version of yourself every single day and contributing to the growth of other people along the way. So one of the things that I personally um, have as a value is that every person who comes in contact with me, my intention is to leave them better than I found them. And that is such a outside of yourself, bigger picture way to walk through life. I encourage you to adopt that. Um, 
But the point is that every person you interact with, every person that you talk to or come in contact with, there's a mutual energy exchange. There's mutual teaching, learning, all of it happening. And it's up to us to take in those lessons and to evolve and transform and reinvent ourselves so that we're constantly moving closer and closer to our greatness, affecting more people, and um, just making a difference in the world. So with that said, that wraps up our Wisdom Wednesdays for today, our very first Wisdom Wednesdays of 2014. As usual, I'm just blessed to be here for another year. I'm blessed to be here with you for another Wednesday, sharing and loving up on you. I wish you all the best, the prosperity, abundance, happiness, love, joy, great sex, all of it in 2014. And I want to be here to support you on your journey. Visit me at patrinawisdom.com or email me coaching at patrinawisdom.com. And if you're interested in taking me up on my offer for a complimentary discovery coaching session, if you have some pressing issue or challenge in your life, or if you're just really looking to reinvent yourself and have your fresh start, please visit my website, patrinawisdom.com, personal coaching page, and you can book your discovery session right there. I look forward to speaking with you again next Wednesday. Namaste. I'll see you next time.